Yeah, that's good. That's the plenty. actual ship we're looking wow. for was uh, really quite difficult. So we did get assistance from Gary Fabian in Texas, who does some, uh, yeah, there's a little shark. Um, zoom in on the shark in the distance. I wonder if we could get a quick zoom on the shark. Come in tight if you have it. Well, I think I know uh, who this guy is, but Bruce, since you're here. Okay, this looks like a uh, cat a shark bit. in the genus Aprostaurus. That's my take on it. Yeah, definitely with the shovel-like head uh, and uh, an anal fin. So uh, I don't think there are any records of this genus Aprostaurus yeah, from Wake yes. Atoll, and we have no idea of what species this would be because there are a number of species in the genus, and none have been recorded from this area. Right, and this actually looks a little bit different than the cat shark we okay, have seen yeah, in ahead Hawaii. And, and incidentally, uh, Jerry Co Crow with the Waikiki Aquarium has submitted a paper on observations of the cat sharks in the Hawaiian Islands, and including one of the Okeanos Explorer images from last year, or maybe it was earlier this year, I'm sorry, earlier this year. Yeah, this looks really, really different than the ones in Hawaii. It seems <laughs> like the snout's much longer and flatter well, and more pale. It's got from. a very different appearance, but I'm confident about the genus. <laughs> the first okay. Yeah, okay, go. yeah, I would agree with you too, Bruce. That's oh. uh, tell me this isn't another blue shrimp. I think it is. Wow, look at that. Bluish. Should I lose lasers? Yeah, so the ROV is a little bit out in front of the Sirius vehicle right now. Uh, we are moving up slope, but sort of slowly. We have a few minutes here to image a few things. Normally these shrimp are swimming with those um, paddle-like appendages that you can see he's got tucked underneath him here, but this guy is taking a break. He's enjoying uh, drifting along Could in the water a for a little while. Zoom. That's cool. Could be in the family Aristeidae. There he goes. Now he's using his appendages. Uh, this one seems like it has really long antennae for uh, something in this family, but uh, maybe my impressions are wrong. It also seems more slender than the uh, Aristeus or the Plesiopeneus. Yeah, there's, um, I'm going to pull up my uh, gallery images on this guy right now. Take a little um, more soon. get these uh, mixed up. This could also be something uh, called benthosinus. Can I come out just a little bit? 